You're listening to the Eldest Jiry Channel. <laughs> Then they closed the schools. By Dave Stancliffe. Performed by Otis Jiry. 2025, USA. All schools, upper and lower, were closed per the dictator's orders in 2022. It was the final blow in dumbing down the nation by the ruling Patriot Party. Ever since the Patriot Party became the first third party to win a presidential election, they systematically took away freedoms guaranteed by the Constitution. Without a Congress and no checks and balances, the Patriot Party was able to name a dictator for life. No more messy elections, no more safeguards for the poor, no protests allowed. Americans were told that there was no need to read as they could learn about everything that they needed to know on TV or on government websites. The new regime sent teams of senior propagandists to all 50 states. It was their job to hold town meetings daily to keep the masses from complaining about their new realities. It was hardest for seniors who grew up in an entirely different America where people were free. For that reason, the government offered bounties on anyone over 65 years old. The only way to completely erase American history was to rewrite it. For years now, seniors were hunted down and turned over to the regime by brainwashed youth seeking monetary awards. Still, there were plenty of people willing to hide seniors, knowing what an important link to the past they were. With the regime's ongoing book purge, it became all the more important that seniors live to pass on what they learned and witnessed in their lifetimes. In the early morning hours, when the city was still asleep, Ross had to go back inside the crumbling building that was his home. Deep in a secret cellar, disguised by debris, it was the only safe place for him. Once he was a renowned professor at a prestigious eastern college, but when the purge began he had to keep on moving and hiding, unable to trust anyone knowing there was a bounty on his head because of his apparent age, not because he was a vampire. He foraged for food at night through the city ruins looking for human prey. Only the poor lived there any more. There were no cars or public transportation, no police department or city government functioning in this once proud city. It was left to die by itself from neglect. The regime was centered hundreds of miles away in New Washington, D.C. The city there had all the modern conveniences available. There were cars, trains, helicopters, and subways. Businesses of all kinds flourished in the renamed capital. The rest of the country's infrastructure was gradually breaking down as people began fighting over the lack of supplies available. A nationwide black market provided some desperate people with basic needs if they had money. Ross still remembered the day when the vampire caught him in a deserted alley foraging for food. Instead of draining him dry, however, the vampire cut his wrist and let the blood flow into his semi-conscious mouth. When he became conscious again, the vampire was waiting for him, standing nearby. It was the only way, Professor, the vampire began. I was one of your students and know how brilliant you are. This nation needs you to be around with your wisdom. It's more valuable than gold. You'll be immortal. The day will come when good Americans will rise and chase this regime into the bowels of hell, and you'll be there to guide them, he explained. Ross fell asleep in the darkness of the hidden cellar and dreamt about giving a lecture to eager young students thirsting for knowledge. The next night he woke up and went outside, Hunger pangs drove him to quickly search out a blood source. There were no more dogs or cats in the city. That just left humans. He learned not to feel guilty when he drank their blood. He was, after all, a repository of knowledge, a walking library. It's for the greater good, he reasoned to himself, whenever the thought entered his head while draining a victim's life away. As it stands, there's an old African proverb that goes, When an old man dies, a library burns down. 
thank you so much for taking time out of your day to listen to this story in its entirety. If you enjoy what you hear and what I do and would like to support me and my efforts, visit my Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Otis Gyre. If you haven't yet, please hit the like button and subscribe today and share this video with everyone on your social media. It helps more than you could ever imagine. Again, thank you for listening and have a great day. God bless you.